Have you ever been in one of those moods where you feel like painting a lot? So have I. Anyway. We've worked on our battle suit more. So here's the shield generator we saw last time. Here's the missile pod. I did a shading effect. What I did is I started off by um, base coating the gray part in Reaper Shadowed Stone. I highlighted the edges with Reaper Stone Gray. Then I used Bada Black and took a brush and around all these, like the higher details, just put them in there so that way it gives it, you know, like brush them against the side of the detail. And then I also painted the top of these pad things with Reaper Rainy Gray. Um, besides the missile pod, I've also finished his plasma rifle. I did a lightning effect. And by lightning effect, I mean like an energy effect. I base coated it in Surf Aqua. I added streaks of pure white, and then I added dots of Surf Aqua mixed with Ghost White. And Ghost White is like white, only it has a tinge of blue. And I painted this bottom part with the mixture as well. I also um, sort of did a broken up, dry brushy, letting the black throat, um, show through a bit on that part. Just because I need something to contrast the gray and I didn't want it to look like that. So yeah, um, the straps were painted in Reaper Leather Brown. And these canisters and the edge of the gun were painted in Reaper Antique Gold. They were dry brushed on for the tip. The very tip was painted with that mixture again. And then for these, um, every other space we did the mixture and then in the spaces that I didn't paint with that, I added just Ghost White. And that's the effect it gives. It's pretty cool. I like it. And these are all magnetized so you can put on his arm and Yeah, I quite like him. Anyway, besides him, I also did some effect or some practice with weathering on this drone. We have some bullet holes and some scrapes and things like that. And then on the bottom drone, we have some more. I painted up this marker drone. And he does come off the flying base stand because I didn't want him to not come off the flying base stand. So it comes off just like that. Um, the interior was painted just like the cloth on my Pathfinders. Um, I painted it with leather brown, and then instead of actually putting in the recesses because there's no real detail on the top, I just painted random patches of Gryphon Sepia, the wash. And then around the edges, I did the camo effect on them with a base coat of midnight blue, then big bars of um, Templar blue, and then streaks of stone gray. Only since I wanted to contrast this, I used shadow gray instead because it's slightly darker. And then on the bottom for the marker light, I painted the outside armor bit the same way as the rest, same with this bottom part. And um, for, and by the way, this. This thing right there is a conversion on the, I think it's a pulse rifle or something. No, pulse carbine. Anyway, for the lights, I base coated it in deep red. I did a splash of phoenix red in one corner and pure white in the opposite corner. And I think it gives it a pretty cool effect. That was, that was just painted with phoenix red. And I haven't painted the lenses yet. Um... I may or may not paint the lenses. They're not really that noticeable, so yeah. This was painted with stone gray and then Templar blue. And this side has more gray, that side is more blue. Tell me which side you like more. This side or that side. I really like your guys' feedback. The tip was dry brushed on with, well, more like a wash or phoenix red just along the bottom. And then the back. The grill was adding a base coat of this vomit brown from Games Workshop. And then it was painted with shining gold because the shining gold over the black doesn't, it 
doesn't look very good, especially on this bottom part. Unless you do a lot of coats, and I really didn't feel like doing that. And then I did some. Actually, I think that's it. Anyway, that's the marker drill. And if you like the shield generator, then you're going to like the shield drones too. Painted those, same effects. Now, these are conversions. Basically, all I did was chop off his arms. I know the actual metal shield drones that you can get. They have shield generators under this, but I mean, I really don't care. I think this looks enough like a shield drone, and I painted it red, and that way it stands out a lot more, because I always forget I have these in my army, so that does serve a purpose, so that they stand out a lot. I've also primed the rest of my fire warriors, except for their arms, because I don't know if there is a good way of priming small things like that, because they just fly all, all over the place. So I primed the rest of them, so now only three of them need to be painted. Rest are, and then I also primed my Pathfinders or my Fire Warriors with Pulse Carbines. I haven't painted any more of those guys yet, but yeah. So what I have primed slash painted over here is this. Now you may be saying, why does the Mark drone over with the Pathfinders instead of over with Stealth Suits? Well, I went over that in my Tactical video, so yeah, you can watch Pathfinder Tactical. But anyway. I hope you enjoyed.